Let me ask you about these attacks, because um, I revisited, as I'm sure you have uh, recently, the, um, the Lord Harris uh, inquiry, the recommendations that he made to Sadiq Khan about uh, preparedness in London for a terror attack. Do, do you think some of the things he said in there were prescient and should be acted on? They haven't been acted on yet. I think we need, do need to revisit that report, because... And we do Wh which to... part of it? Well, I just think it's about preparedness and resilience. Mm. We, we but need, he we... made some very specific recommendations that yeah. haven't been acted on. Do you know what they are? Well, I know, I mean, he was talking about preparedness and mm. resilience, and I do think that we need to act, not necessarily yes. on every but, specific recommendation. But, but, but you re remember the report came out only in October 2016. The, the mayor, the newly elected mayor, commissioned it, came out in October 2016, and Lord Toby Harris had some bullet points. You yeah. know, this, that's what I've read through. I mean, what did you make of those, the specifics? I thought, because I, I know Toby Harris, he's a very absolutely very, 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 very thoroughblown inquiry, I must yeah. say, in review. I thought it was an important review, mm. and I think we should act on it, but obviously mm. working with stakeholders... But, but what should we act on? I mean, you know, what, what, what do you think of the recommendations about the various police forces in London? You mean the idea that they should work more closely together? Well, he suggested they should amalgamate. Well, I think... That's an interesting idea, but I think you'd find resistance in some parts of London to the amalgamation. Have of you actually read force. the report? I have. Okay. What about um, the when you talk about what about the physical resilience? Again, I'm referring to this because it seemed prescient. Mm. Yes. I mean, I think physical mm. resilience is important. I think that. But there was a specific aspect of physical resilience. Well. I think that I think that physical resilience is important. Yes, well, I mean, but the specific aspect was he talked about putting up more barriers in the light of the the Nice attacks. He mentioned that in October 2016. Yes, it's, it, we're now putting up barriers on uh, bridges, and you th you'd think we might have done that before, particularly after what happens on Westminster Bridge. But, but now, in the past few days, we've been putting up barriers on bridges. So would you recommend putting up barriers around more public spaces? For instance, you know, there are, there are many, many spaces, even just in London, where people gather. Do you think around uh, parks, around Covent Garden, around places like that? Well, certainly in Westminster, which is where I work, there's, well, been, a lot, there there's, yeah, there's been a lot more barriers and bollards to, to, to protect us from terrorism. And I think we need to consider that. Um, for other places in central London. Is it true, just after our exchange there on the Harris report, is it true that uh, Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonald's team have been trying to keep you off the airwaves? No. That's why I'm here this evening. Well, you said that you book your own appearances, that you don't run them through the leader's office. No, 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 no. We work very closely with the press office. But they I... regard you that uh, the two Js regard you as a bit of a liability after your brain fade on police costume. I... Th I'm, I'm here. I've just come from doing another media interview. I'm going on to do another media interview. There's no, there's no truth in the idea that I'm, I'm not in the media, particularly talking about what happened but you're not, at London you, you, Bridge. You, 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 you think you're an asset, clearly, not, not a liability to the front bench. I think I'm Shadow Home Secretary, and it'd be very strange if the Shadow Home Secretary wasn't doing interviews like this. Uh, and you think that in three, four days' time you will be the Home Secretary? I think... The most important thing is that in three or four days' time, we actually win the general election, and then Jeremy will choose his, his cabinet.